The first item I have been trying to get to the bottom of this for, I, I don't know, six, seven, eight months, maybe even a year. Um, I've got resellers that I'm good friends with that are like, you're wrong, Courtney, quit saying that. And I'm like, but hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. It is time for the dreaded Vero policy violations. Who got suspended? What item got removed? eBay video. I'm not a big fan of these. I hate these actually. I want to see bolos, not these items, but I do think it's important to stay educated. Um, so how this works is I posted this in my Bolo Buddies Facebook group and I invited members of the Facebook group to share their Vero's and their policy violations, items that they have had removed from eBay for any specific reason. I have asked them to include screenshots of the actual item that was removed if they have it. And I've also asked them to provide like a screenshot of what eBay sent them. Now, does that always happen? No, it doesn't. But I am going to read what they wrote to you guys and give you as much information as I possibly can. The first item, I have been trying to get to the bottom of this for, I, I don't know, six, seven, eight months, maybe even a year. Um, I've got resellers that I'm good friends with that are like, you're wrong, Courtney, quit saying that. And I'm like, but so-and-so was told this by an eBay rep and da 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 and back and forth and back and forth. And it is just, I don't know, you guys. I still don't know. I'm going to tell you what happened to this person. Um, and and I, it happened. That's all I can say is it happened. Is it happening to everyone? I have no idea. Is this allowed? I have no idea. I pulled all mine, okay? So if you're, you probably already know if you've been here a while. Perfume, okay? So here's the big debate. We know for sure that used perfume cannot be listed under perfume. However, many people claim and say that eBay has told them that used perfume can be sold under collectibles, perfume vanity collectibles, okay? I pulled all my perfume off eBay. To me, it's just not worth the risk. I I mean, why risk it? If somebody was told that from an eBay representative, I'm just gonna take mine down. So that's what I chose to do. We all are adults here and can make our own decisions, but I'm gonna tell you what happened to this gal, okay? Here's what she said. I had new fragrance bottles listed on eBay with no caps, and I got a warning from eBay that perf perfumes had to be brand new. Okay, so let's start by saying she got this warning when they were under perfume, new perfume, not under collectibles. So eBay sent her a warning. So because of advice on reseller pages, people said you could list partial bottles under vanity collectibles. So I moved my partial perfume bottles into that category and I removed mentioning how much was in them and was just selling them as vintage perfume bottles. I then got a three day suspension and was told clearly by two eBay reps that fragrances have to be brand new or empty bottles can be sold in collectibles, but they have to be empty in the title description and have a clear photo of an empty bottle. It's been a while, or it's been a way to sell partial bottles for a while, but eBay is cracking down in the past two months. This is what she wrote, okay? Now, here is um, the actual thing from eBay, and I'm gonna pop it up here for you guys. What activity didn't follow the policy? The cosmetics you listed were used or samples. I'm sorry, used or sampled. Due to hygiene concerns, Local, state, and federal laws, we prohibit the sale of used cosmetics, including those that were sampled. 
We appreciate that you chose to utilize our site, but we must ask that you please not relist in this case. Applicators are not allowed. That includes products such as skin moisturizers, sunscreens, perfumes, lipsticks, fingernail polishes, eye and facial makeup preparations, shampoos, permanent waves, hair colors, toothpaste, and deodorants. Used cosmetic brushes can be sold but must be thoroughly cleaned. Cosmetics, colognes, perfumes, and lotions must come in the original container. Handmade cosmetics must comply with governmental or government regulations. Sorry, this is really small. The date of the notice and your other listings will be hidden from search during this period. Listings will automatically be restored and show up in search results after the end of the temporary restriction. Any fees paid or payable for listings that are ended and or hidden from search will be refunded or otherwise credited to your account. Listings that don't follow the policy in the future will, will result in similar actions, including a seven-day restriction on your account. So they're saying if you do this again, violate, I think, this policy, the next restriction will be for seven days. Okay, so here's my thought. When I think about used, like, applicators, like, you know, you put on eyeshadow with an applicator. Like, perfume, you just spray it. It doesn't, like, nothing touches your skin or your body. It's in a bottle and you spray it. So I feel like that doesn't really touch anything to make it unsanitary, but I could be wrong. Um, lipstick makes total sense. I mean, you're using the lipstick. Now, the splash. So a splash does not have a spray. That's literally something that you have a bottle, it's open top, and you splash it onto your arm. So that would physically, the liquid would physically touch your body and go back into the bottle. So that makes sense. But the spray, I don't know. So um, somebody wrote, interesting. Um, they called eBay for one of their stores in the last two weeks, and they said you can list if no applicators, powder puffs, etc., in vanity collectibles. If this is a current policy, eBay needs to retrain, retrain their folks before they try to work on sellers. Okay. And then she wrote, well, maybe it's holiday staff, but with the authority to give out a three-day restriction and threaten worse, um, one, I was transferred to another um, specialist. So she talked to two people. So I don't know. You guys can make the choice on your own. You're all adults here. You can decide if you want to list perfume under collectibles or if you do not. But this gal right here got a three-day suspension for selling perfume. And it was under collectibles. So we're going to move on to the next Vero. I spent seven minutes on that. But it's something that just keeps getting talked about. And um, I really just wish there was a clear answer. But I, I just keep hearing people saying, I called eBay and they said, yes, you can. I called eBay. They said, no, you can't. This right here is a written <laughs> thing. Three day suspension from eBay for that very reason. So you guys do with that what you will. Um, all right, let's go back up here to the top. I wanted to talk about that one first to make sure everybody sees it. I also want you guys to go down to the comments and tell me, has anyone else been suspended or had perfume removed that was under collectibles? Okay. If everybody can come together and let me know in the comments, if nobody posts, yeah, I've had this happen to me, then maybe this was an isolated thing that was an accident. I don't know. But again, I've been hearing this for months upon months. And I've also I got other people telling me to quit saying it. So I don't know. That's what I've got for you. All right. So here's one. Sold this item to a lady on Australia. She called Australian customs officials to make sure that it was all right to send. They said there would be no issue. Elk is not an endangered species. Even so, GSP would not forward the item. They kept it. She said, I got paid and the buyer got reimbursed, but they destroyed the item. 
I was told by eBay that it would be in incinerated. It was handmade in 1906. This is what it looks like. Okay, so I did get an update on this and the item ended up going to another company who was going to sell the item and she did end up getting her item back. So that is part of the story. I'm not going to go into the full details, but it did not get destroyed. So that is good. Um, here, let's see. She does give an update. She said, after about four days of searching, I found that the item was not destroyed. It was in fact resold to a company in Michigan. Um, I think that GSP maybe sells some of these items to the other company. And then they probably relist them on eBay without international sales. I don't know. It makes sense to me. I mean, I feel like they're kind of doing us a favor because they're refunding us our money. Um, the international buyer is getting their money back and no money is lost. You see what I'm saying? We're still getting our money. This company gets the item and then they resell it. That's how I'm understanding what she is saying. But um, she wanted her item back, so... She didn't want it to be destroyed. And um, and then she found it on eBay. So I think she got it back if I remember correctly. All right. My Aflac duck golf cover was removed for being recalled by the government over lead concerns. But I looked it up and only one recalled was the one in a doctor suit. eBay was like, sorry. Okay, so I've talked to you guys about this man, we've got three in a row where uh, we're kind of going into some conversation. So I apologize. This is the Aflac duck cover that she had removed from eBay. Um, I talked about in a video before I had a doll. And when I went to list the doll, I got the little pop up that says this is a recalled item. I went to the area, I forget what it's called, where it tells you about recalled items. And I tried to search that item. My item was not a recalled doll but something in my title flagged it as that. So to me, I'm like, if this is getting flagged now, there's a good possibility that even if this is not a recalled item, eBay is seeing it as a recalled item and I might get hit with an item removal or a suspension. So I just don't list those items. I play it safe and I will not list them. Um, but like right here, the same thing happened to her. The one that is recalled for lead concerns is a doctor suit. This is not a doctor suit, but it still got removed. So, and she still got hit with the violation and eBay said, sorry. So if it's not recalled, it's not recalled. But if eBay picks it up as recalled and still gives you the violation, that stinks because then that's on your account. Um. All my Pottery Barn items were removed until I showed them receipts of purchase. Thankfully, I purchased directly, so I was allowed to post again. Somebody put, because of Vero. Um, hmm. And then there were mean comments. And this is exactly what I don't want in the group. You guys, if you're in my Bolo Buddies Facebook group and you see a mean comment please click on those three dots and report those to admin and moderators because we will take care of those comments. Those people, the comments will be deleted. They will get a warning or they will just be kicked out of the group depending on how bad and how mean their comment is. And what I'm seeing here is just, it, it's just childish and not appreciated. You guys try to be adults and help people out. And if you don't want to help someone out, just scroll don't make it harder for everyone else. You don't know what people are going through. You don't know what level they are in their reselling, um, how long they've been reselling. They might be brand new asking a question. Just be nice. Be nice or just scroll, please. It's a big group. There's 77,000 people in this group. And um, as moderators and admin, we are doing the best we can, but please report. Um, you can do that by clicking on the three dots if you're on your computer. Or if you're on your phone, you just hold your finger on that comment and it'll pop up that you can report the comment. Okay, so appreciate all of your help. Um, I've had people say uh, to me that it, reflect, it reflects badly on me how the people in the group act. And I'm like, you guys, I am doing the best I can. And I think 
for those of you that watch my channel, you know that I am not okay with people being mean to each other. It's just not acceptable. It's also under the rules of the group. So I still didn't get to the bottom of this. Um, it says that they used Vero as the reason, but it looks like she um, provided receipts. So she may have been a new seller. And if these were new items, quite possibly eBay could have asked her for receipts. Um, I'm re not really sure. As far as I know, Pottery Barn, I don't know anyone else that has ever had an issue with it, but that does not mean that um, it's not a Vero. So if you have sold Pottery Barn and had an issue, please let me know in the comments. A lot of times it's the new items that are current that can also be like they watch for those. Diamond wood matches strike on box hazardous. Yes, those are under the hazardous materials. So um, I don't know if she said they were taken down or what exactly happened. I know that they have changed a lot of the policies for hazardous materials on eBay, like to include the bubble lights. That's one of them. LED multicolor light bar with remote and app control product safety poses health risk. Don't know, never uh, heard of that before. I don't have any pictures of any of these. Vintage Corningware electric skillet ceramic hot plate. So I know that there's a Corningware um, like pitcher type thing that is definitely on the recall list, but this is a ceramic hot plate um, recall. Had two listed only one was Vero. The other one just sold about nine months later. So I'm going to say that she got lucky and the other one didn't get caught or it was specific to maybe a certain style or year that it came out. Um, what I will say is that eBay can go in to your solds and give you violations after the item has sold. So please be careful. Uh, wooden tobacco cigar box Cuba. Anything Cuba, you cannot list. So, um, embargoed goods policy. Yep. Anything Cuba, don't list it. People are getting hit with that left and right. That has been in every Vero video I think I've done. Um, hypotherm electrode plasma. Vero patent policy. Not sure what that is, but if you have one listed, you might consider taking it down. Vermont County store or oiled tablecloth. This is what it looks like. I said, do you know why? And she included this photo right here. It says, we had to remove your listing because it didn't follow our Vero unauthorized listing policy. Copying pictures, text, logos, or other copper. Oh, sorry, guys. Copying pictures, text, logos, or other copyrighted materials without the rights owner's permission is not allowed. Your listing was reported for using the rights owner's copyrighted text without authorization. When listing this product, please do not copy text into your description from websites, catalogs, and other sources, and only use text you have written or get explicit written authorization from the rights owner to use their text on eBay. So what has happened? It wasn't removed because of the tablecloth. There was nothing wrong with the tablecloth. She found this tablecloth probably on the original site or in a from Google Lens or whatever, and she copied the verbiage and put it into her description word for word. So uh, you can't do that. What's that called? Like, um, oh, like when you were in school and is it just copyright? Is that what it is? Oh, I cannot remember. I feel like there was something that it was called when I was in school, like when you would like read a book and you do a book report and you would like copy it word for word. <laughs> anyway, made me think of that kind of off subject. Minecraft torch recalled due to safety issue, but still lots on eBay for sale sold quickly on Facebook marketplace. If an item is recalled, there is probably a safety hazard reason this is probably going to be in the hands of a child. So I'm going to say if the item has a recall, don't relist it on Facebook Marketplace. That would be my advice. Plexiderm. They claimed it was counterfeit. I got a three-day suspension, but they, 
but contacted them via email, provided it in the eBay message, bugged them until they reverse it, and now I'm an authorized seller. The decision was reversed and the incident was removed from my account. Always, always contact the company. Most of the time you can get it reviewed and reversed three times I have. So it's a rapid reduction serum, clinically tested results, visibly reduces under eye bags and wrinkles. So it's some type of skin care. Uh, so the company just didn't want them selling the product. I don't know what becoming an authorized seller means. Um, I know like they do a lot of that over on Amazon, but apparently maybe this can happen for eBay also. How did you become an authorized seller? Just by contacting them about the restriction and going through that process and stated that since I have proven the items I sell are not counterfeit, I would like to be authorized to sell their product and they approved it. How did you prove it? I get these on occasion from a friend who buys CVS pallets and it says create a invoice. So um, if you get pallets, it's probably going to be on your manifest. So vintage Corning Ware coffee percolator, two different kinds due to a recall. They gave me a warning that I should not try to release this at all. Yep. The percolator is definitely a Vero for um, recall. Um, somebody said, I have one also. It is a rare design. Not sure if I can sell it for parts or if I should even try listing it. Um, I'm going to say I would not try to list it for parts because you don't know which part is faulty and you're still going to have to use that in your title, which is probably going to be picked up by eBay. Um, let me know in the comments if you agree or disagree with me on that. Would you part out a uh, Corning Ware coffee percolator. I've heard a lot of people say, do not. I had listed Swiss style knives and eBay took them down due to using the name Swiss in the title. So don't use the name Swiss army. Um, okay. So yeah, that makes sense. Turns out it's probably caribou skin. Okay. So here is the picture, which is just interesting in itself. Um, and here is what the violation says. I'm going to have to get close. We had to remove your listing because it didn't follow our animal products policy. Products from endangered or protected species are not allowed and other wildlife products need to include specific information. Please understand that you listed seal skin item on this site. Item, items derived from endangered or threatened or extinct animals are not allowed on this site. Please don't relist such items on this site. So that's what it looks like. I don't know what her title said. Um, I don't know if it said seal skin. Zippo lighters. Somebody put, really? What kind? What did they say? There is a Zippo category. I'm like, can you attach a photo of what eBay sent you about this violation? and crickets. So I, I don't know. I've never heard anything. Maybe it was a counterfeit. Maybe it wasn't a Zippo lighter. It looked like a Zippo lighter and they called it a Zippo lighter. That could get your listing removed. Um, everybody's like, what? Huh? So I don't know about that one. Uh, I've never had any issues with Zippo lighters. Let me know in the comments if anyone has ever had a Zippo lighter removed. Not quite a violation, but got an Arcratex, oh, this word, this word, listing removed for using a stock photo. So it's not the item, it's the stock photo. It was actually my photo and I contacted the company with the email eBay provided and proof and they reinstated my listing. So it's worth it to reach out if you're not in the wrong. Okay, so they removed it because they said it was a stock photo. But what probably happened was her photo was just really good. She probably whited out the background and it looked like a stock photo when it was not. So she just had to prove it and it looks like everything worked out and it was reinstated. So um, that's good information right there. WeatherTech cup phone holder. Just a warning and post was removed. 
Somebody put, uh, or I put, did they say why? Do you have a photo of warning? No, it was a long time ago. I think they stated it, that it was copyright infringement of the photo. It was my photo with the background removed. So again, somebody else getting hit with um, where they thought it was a stock photo when it was actually their photo. Okay, Christmas bubble lights. Yep, they said it was a harmful chemical. Mine weren't vintage. Yes, they are taking all of them down, vintage and new. Um, somebody else put, I got mine taken down too, even though there were a ton of others listed. Glad I sold mine a few years ago. Um, if you search eBay, at least the last time I searched eBay for bubble lights, nada. They are gone. eBay is cracking down on those. So don't list them because you're going to get caught. Um, and they're just more than likely just going to send you a, we remove this item, don't relist it. But let's say they send you that and you list it again and you list it again and they remove it again and then they remove it again. That's when you're going to get your suspension. Okay. So eBay is pretty good about giving warnings before, before they give the suspension. All right, you guys. Thank you so much for being here. Let me know in the comments if you learned something new. Also, I asked you guys a lot of questions. If you can answer those questions and help everybody out in the comments, that would be greatly appreciated. Really would love to get to the bottom of this perfume thing. All right, you guys. Uh, if you have a Vero or a policy violation that has happened to you, I'm going to put up a new post over in my Bolo Buddies Facebook group. So if you can head over and share that with the with the group so that I can put it in a video. I would greatly appreciate it. It'll look something like this and it will be under the featured announcements section of my Bolo Buddies Facebook group. Thanks so much for being here. If you're new here, I would love for you to subscribe. Let me know how you found the channel and thanks for watching. Uh, if you have a Vero, golly golly, 